original idea behind Seascape Challenge is to lure people out of their comfort zones they're stuck in, but at the other end to supply a safety zone in which they stay. So it's more about fighting what I believe is the single most overrated commodity and that's comfort. It originates from the experience we gathered with Christian in, in France, uh, where we participated in the Mini Transat class, which is small boats which are sailing across Atlantic single-handed, not just sail, actually race. And, and this really pushes you outside of whatever you thought is that you can do. I mean, the downsides are clear. Uh, it's super uncomfortable. Uh, it can get borderline dangerous, but they make a huge effort of making it as safe as possible. So what struck me on this race, we did it two times with the co-founder of Seascape, uh, Christian, that even though you push yourself very hard and into some sort of emotions and experiences you never thought you were able to, to tap into, I never felt outside of the safety zone. Um, they are very good at preparing you, preparing you for the race and, uh, and also supplying all the infrastructure that keeps you safe. The challenge we were facing uh, was how to transplant this idea which is based on professional and semi-professional sailors, how to get it out of that environment and make it, make it available to recreational sailors. So, so this was a puzzle we, we were not able to unlock um, until we were invited to join uh, a new thing which started in Denmark, which was called the Silver Rudder Race. I got completely awestruck on how close the experience of the race resembled the experience I got on racing across the Atlantic. Silver Rudder showed uh, a great example of how to bring the idea of adventure sailing from the realm of professional sailing into the world of amateurs. In, in a nutshell, what we'd like to get going is that we create a trend where comfort gets off the table and the raw experience of connecting with sea and the wind becomes the main player. One of the specifics of Seascape Challenge is that in order to get this relatively extreme experience for a normal sailor manageable and safe, is that we reserve the right to set the course after we know the weather forecasts, which is basically the night before the race. We also supply two routes, the long and the short one, so people can decide like with marathons, do they want to do the full marathon or the half marathon? and we allow them to choose which one do they want to do during the sailing, so they don't have to commit to it beforehand. The things we are looking at, together with uh, typically Jure, Jermann, is um, we like to avoid going upwind in strong winds. Uh, we love to send people downwind in strong winds, if available. We don't mind keeping them in low wind areas and making it a little bit more tactical, but as well, we are not looking for keeping them in the same place for six, seven hours if the forecast is telling you so. So in general, we like to maximize fun and minimize uh, risk uh, when we do the, the route setup. We try to include the spectacularness of the course as well, so to make it as uh, beautiful as possible with all the landmarks which we have around us. Super, okay. I'll just point out two, three things that I noticed when I was doing the security checks. One is, are you all clear how you're going to be attaching yourself on the boat, on all three times of the boat? By that I mean, especially on the 18th, uh, make sure that you have a smart way of being attached all the time, so not reclipping from lifelines on the left on the right side. So make sure you're either attached to the main sheet or to something which is at the foot of the mask. That's one thing. The second thing is you all have to have red flares and red rockets. Red rockets are more extreme measure, uh, which I don't think, I hope you're not going to use it. But uh, red flares are super, super handy to use when you end up in trouble. Put your life vest, life jackets on and attach yourself and try to do tech and jive in the port hoist a kite, drop a kite, to see whether your lines are clear. And also, I would really urge you to discuss between two of you what is the procedure to do 
if someone falls overboard, attached or unattached. It's going to be windy, so 20 knots is, is 20 knots, uh, especially in the night. The last part I expect is going to be more tr most tricky, coming back in. Uh, you're going to be a bit tired, and uh, you have a phone number to call if you need assistance. Probably it's worth defining the, the, the word comfort zone. It can be a little bit philosophical. When I'm looking at the, the sailors participating, it can be very different thing for a beginner who is uh, pretty much first time going on the open sea on a small boat and his goal is to come to the, to the finish line without major safety or equipment issues. Or on the other end, you can have Olympic sailors who come and, and really push in terms of performance in open seas and full sails and end up with uh, pushing equipment over a limit of its capacity. So anything goes. Uh, what we have to do as organizers is we have to make sure if anyone steps too far, we have to be there to catch them. We have never raced on a seascape before, so I'm really curious how that went work out. We talked with Andraj, we thought about the sails, we thought about the trim. All of this will be difficult. I'm, I'm happy that we have such good conditions here right now. It's a brand new boat. Yeah, we have a name and we have a very beautiful young lady here who will do it for us. And I'm really uh, looking forward to that and grateful that she's here and doing it. All in all, we don't we don't want uh, to have any pressure on us. Yeah, yeah. it's true. We yeah. want to win, but no pressure. That's it. As there are a lot of Austrian boats this year, we try to be the, the best Austrian boat. So the Slovenian guys are hard to beat. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no way, no way you're so yes. yeah. But maybe we get the Austrians. <laughs> so that would be our goal for this year. I want be, to win. Yeah, that's well, it. Yeah, Fuck yeah. it. Yeah. That's, that's it. It's a fun time. Fun oh. time. Ili pobjeda možda prvo. Mislim... Sigramo na zmaga. Ima preko 20 brodova, 25 brodova, preko 25 brodova u 18-ici. Mislim da je to jedinstvena šansa da se starta u takvoj konkurenciji. I rekao sam majmo, ne? I to idemo normalno dugo, ne? The challenge is to be, like, though I said, faster than last year, but there is also the challenge to finish at all. And if we see the conditions are too hard, then we just, you know, we're not too proud to give up because it's our safety. Prvi put smo ovde, nemamo neka posebna očekivanja. Mislim da završimo, pokušat ćemo dugu rutu. To nam je izazov. Nikad nismo zajedno jedrili više od 8 sati, pa ćemo da vidimo da li ćemo uspjeti da ostanemo obojca na brodu ili će neko kraćim putem nazad. Zala je 11 i ćemo učiniti ovu razliku za prvi razliku. Znači, ćemo učiniti ovu razliku, ne? 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 But the main thing is to have fun and to have a good experience. Nama je ziv to, ker je v bistvu v enem kosu, da ni regata tekotnika kakšne kratke, ampak da je to 70 mil, in sva se še odločili, ali pa 140 mil, da je to noč in dan. Da vidva, kaj to bo men, mehna varka, dost vetra, kot je napoveden, bomo pa videli, kaj mora pridemo, pridemo. Ja sam svjetioničar, zajedno sa još jednim svjetioničarom, tu na otoku Sestrica, na svjetioniku Tajerska Sestrica. Naši najveći izazovi su prebroditi zimu i ljeto, raditi tu, održavati ovu veliku kuću, ovo imanje, puteve prilazne i tako to. Paziti da se ne ozdjedimo pri tome, jer pomoći nam nema nigdje u krugu 6 milja. We, we really hope, you know, to go for the long one. We are like the scouts, we are always prepared. Yeah. For the long one. It's beautiful. 
Life is beautiful. Well, you know, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we arranged really right, perfect weather for this. Yeah. Well, all in all, you know, we came here to solve our life, to save our life. Yeah. And his life, especially. Although on the way here we just uh, realized that perhaps this is not the, 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 proper, the proper medicine for uh, solving all our problems. I'm gonna train for ninja. Next. This is my project. <laughs> Uh, you were, uh, in the weather briefing was um, maybe exaggerating a little bit with 20 plus, but we, we will be on our feet, ready for uh, whatever the wind and the guts throw at us. As mentioned, I'm coming from Olympic sailing and Hendrik is coming from uh, boat building. So we have two great capabilities on the boat, I think, but we have to match them and bring them together in the race. And I'm, I'm looking forward to the challenge uh, between the people, because I think that's what it's really all about. It's about the community and the people and the time we spend on the water. And I think uh, if we can match that well, uh, it's going to be a great race. Yeah, fortunately this year we have uh, five six of 24. We hope uh, we'll get a good score. Uh, I, can't, I can't say the number, <laughs> which is probably one. <laughs> the challenge is to keep up, you know, pushing for the whole race. It's easy to push like for half a day, but then during the night you start to lose concentration. And somehow, yeah, I think that's probably going to be our challenge to really keep on going. Ja sam došao uživati ovdje, jedrim sa prijateljom koji je možda i bolji jedričar od mene, tako da nemamo nekoga cilja osim uživati. Ako nas zove uživimo, onda smo sigurno i dobri. Ja, 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 just at the beginning, right after the start. And then we were really the last behind everybody. And we overtook so many, I don't know, we didn't count, but it was amazing. And we are very proud of us. Yeah. When we, are, if we finish the short one, we going for the long one and we hit the cast and the Primoz was on the rudder and maybe a bit unprepared and he dive in the water and the problem was really uh, maybe was not responsible from our side nobody was attached to the line you must be hooked it's not useful if it's if you don't wear it so <laughs> yes my message would be uh, just prepare and do it before it gets even if you think too strong, you, or even if you think yeah, that, that you're you don't need it, it put cannot, it on. Yeah, that you won't happen to you. It can, and then you know, from one small mistake, it can lead to big fuck ups. So. <laughs> it was great to sail it for the first ten hours, and after ten hours, we broke the mast. Uh, I think we pushed hard with the top Jenica, and uh, was strong wind, good waves. Really nice sailing, but maybe it was just too much for the rig, um, which is a shame because we couldn't finish and it was such a great experience. Even when the mast broke, we worked together as a team and really made the bond between us stronger. I think the whole experience pushed ourselves and the community I felt when arriving here, like late at night, around midnight, people were here having a drink, eating something and even today everybody was helping each other. So for me, well, it's a sad eye and a laughing eye with a broken mask, but still a great experience to have the Seascape Challenge in my mind, especially for next year, because I want to finish this challenge. V resnicu se blazen fajn mela, luka je bil v zelo redu, kregala se nisva, zelo, zelo fajn taka pesna dirka, vse čas, ni bilo, ni bilo nič sprostitve. Ne? Skosi, skosi je bilo v bistvu pač nekaj, tako da je bilo neverjetnih, koliko je to zdaj, 30 takih zelo napetih ur. Nekad si smo imali sreče, nekad nismo, tako da onak, bilo je teško na kraju prihvatiti da smo zapravo bili u utrci za prvo mjesto i da smo ga izgubili u bonaciji. 
Ne, dan je bil vrhunski, tist po Kornatih je bila poezija, Down Wind je bil tudi kar zanimiv, ne, je bilo, mislim, vse super edin, pol res, kaj pa burja spet nazaj, to je bilo pa pol malo izven, izven comfort zona. Malo je bilo trike, ne, ker naj je res položil in pol sva še krajšala, pa je se malo nespretno to krajšil, tako da je izgledal, da stvari niso pod kontrolo, ne, tam ne mami povedal. Jaz mislim, da te slabe stvari mu pozabil, da bo res dobro izkušnjo ostala, ker tist, kar je bilo pa čez dan, je bilo pa vrhunsko. Za oba da. Ja. Delaš vse 12 vozilov hitrosti, metr vala, praktično od prte morijo v 5,5 metrov velikem čuvničku. Ja, to je zelo lepo. Zelo vse in zelo vse in zelo vse 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 vse. So we had a just small drinker and big jeep sale, which means uh, yeah we will bring the um, small jeep next year. Bez obzira na konkurenciju koja je odlična, videli smo da su dobri jedličari. Ja i mi smo znali da smo dobri, nismo nikad na ovakvu regatu skupa jedili. Jesmo jedan proti drugu. Mi godinama jedemo jedan proti drugu, najčešće. Točno znam kako reagira, kako se ponaša i bilo mi jako zanimljivo kada uči na vrhu. Jer je vrhunski šofer, vozi brod jako brzo. I ja sam se moga doslovno pustiti i radi sve ostalo. Znači radi po brodu i meni je drago radi po brodu. Manovre, sve po brodu organizirati, šljakati, tako da se znači ugušti. Nisam morao briniti o prvišnoj taktici, a potpuno vožnja broda. Nisam če razmišljal njegov, on je vozio od čeva starta sa iznojim WC pauze. The, the whole uh, route and, and the course was was perfect for for sailing especially the downwind part was 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 very nice you know we were flying really fast and of course uh, in the night when the burak came uh, first we could use it uh, in your advance so it's, it's it was really funny for us the whole race Malo pred nama prišel, ne? A ste gledali trek? Jaz ste ga. Ja, on je šel na to dolgo zdaj naprej. A, je šel? Mi je se ga na te k***, koc. Nismo gledala. Dolgo se ga na te k***. Gledava nazaj, tudi benga, ne? Tudi za tiste, ki so rekli, da bojo šli na te dolgo, ne? So se nekako premisljali. On je bil sto metrov više od naj, pa je dobil desnjaka, tako lahko se je dvignil. Od nikjer. Pa so ga prehitela spet v vhod z kornatetem. Pol so skozi bila itak spredi, spredi, spredi. Pa pa p***. Tam uni grt p***. En bebler je p***. Šel na une milimetri stari od malo. Ej, se pa kar dobil opet. Pa dobil, pa dobil, dobil. Pol so v krmo. S p***. So bila ene 500 metrov spredi, pa se spet prpela. A veš kaj je bilo? Mi je so bila pred njimi, pa sem vozil na spit. Gor. Vsi se je pa spuščil. Pist konc je, jaz sem pričegoval, da bom mene spustil, ta burja, ker je pravi prišla eno uro kasnej. Jaz sem zato sem vozil na spit, sem mislil, evo, zdaj me bo spustil dol, pa kaj se tja. Ne, stari, je šel še na zajmo. Pa crknil. In potem tist, ki se je glih spustil, je prišel pred nama. Pa so ga prehitela pred rtom. So ga spet dobila, stari. To je bil na zadnji prehit. So se skos, p***. Je pa, ne, je pa on zdaj. Tejko je psihično zlomila svega, no, psihično se je zlomil. Boljši je, vse dober jadra, sem psihično se je zlomila. Pa vem, pa kaj, pa lej, se bom pjer, pa ki vidim, ne, vse. Sam se ga dober se p***. Bilo bi zelo cool, če bi bilo več takšnih regat. Kako veliko kriterija ima takšna ena regata? V Jadranu, ki so pogoji tako spremenljivi, kot je ta regata bila, ne? Imeli smo veter, ne vem, pač vsi smeri, ne? Definitivno 18. Nič do 20 vozlov. Rabimo še takšno regata.